Chris just was talking to Trayvon about how he's changed his body and changed his diet since the off season. Can you talk about that and how he maybe moves differently or is different this year because of that change? Well, I mean, it's an important one that he had to make, and and you know, so far the results have been have been really good in terms of his body and keeping his weight down. I think it'll always be an issue for him unless uh, unless he does what he did this off season and continues to do during the preseason. You know, he's, um, you know, anybody that carries extra weight uh, is, is going to struggle to move in comparison to what they could. And so I think he realized that a year ago. Uh, he has to continue to, to be diligent in his approach uh, with his conditioning and with his diet. And if he does that, then, then the results will help, will show. Missouri looks a lot different this year. Um, very young team, but some talented parts. What is your take on them? From this team? Well, I think number one, their chemistry is much better. That's uh, been clearly evident here the first couple games that they've played along with their exhibition game. You know, Kim Anderson's done a really good job of, I think, blending some very talented, energetic freshmen uh, into a group that, you know, has some experience. You know, we, we obviously know Wes Clark. We recruited Wes. He's extremely talented. Um, but I, I don't think that they really have a weak weakness in their team other than maybe experience. And we have to use that to our advantage. It's not like we're the most experienced team in the world, but, you know, they're carrying three freshmen that play a lot of minutes, uh, that play big roles for them. Uh, but that doesn't take away from their talent level, I think their energy level, and the way they've, they've competed in the first couple games. So I think we'll see a much different team than we did a year ago, and we have to be prepared for them. That, that's the first thing that sticks out is how quick their guards are, how athletic they are, whether it's pushing the ball in transition, their ability to get to the rim and the open floor. Um, I think they, they have an unselfishness about them. They're all really good in ball screen situations. You know, you always worry about um, guards' ability to split a ball screen and get in the lane and have a ton of options. Um, you know, at their disposal, and that's what they do really well. They split slow, slow bigs on ball screens. They get in the lane. I think if Terrence Phillips shoots the ball the way he did the other night, it makes him even more dangerous than he already is. Again, Wes is an experienced guy. Uh, K.J. Walton got to the free throw line, I believe, eight to ten times last game and really single-handedly provided the energy that made the separation in the game yesterday uh, when they played Maryland Eastern Shore. They were a little stagnant against the zone. And the next thing you know, uh, KJ Walton put so much pressure on the zone by getting in the lane, collapsing two or three defenders, either finding Phillips for a three, getting to the basket, getting fouled, getting to the free throw line. Uh, so their guards are very athletic. They're very quick. They're very aggressive. Um, and so we, we, have, we have a big challenge on our hands. Um, I don't know. That remains to be seen. I, I'm not just going to answer your question and say, yeah, we're, we're moving forward and we're progressing. You know, we do drills every day, um, you know, to improve things that we feel are weaknesses. And right now we're not doing a good enough job of keeping the ball out of the lane. Uh, we're not doing a good enough job um, contesting shots. We're doing a, a great job on the glass, although I don't think we've played uh, an incredibly talented offensive rebounding type team yet. We've played more perimeter, you know, four out, one in type of offenses. So uh, I'm not going to anoint our team, you know, the best block out team in the country, not even close. But we, we just have to get a whole lot better on the defensive end. We have to play with uh, more energy. We have to play with more IQ. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's part of our, our maturity that we have to find. I want every guy on our team to do what the game tells him to do. You know, James needs to um, be the best rebounder on our team. He needs to guy, uh, guy, he needs to be a guy that gets us extra shots um, by his relentless pursuit of the ball on the offensive glass. Uh, he needs to be play big around the basket. We need m more of a post presence from James than we've needed in the past because of Matt being gone. 
And so, um, you know, he, he should be shooting less threes. We have more perimeter threats than we've ever had, but we have to get the ball in the lane first and foremost to make teams respect that in order for the other stuff to open up. Well, he gained weight, which for Edmund was um, something that was drastically needed. I mean, he came in at what it, whatever the weight was, 155, 160 pounds, and you know he wasn't going to be durable enough to play at the, the high major uh, level. And so from that perspective, he got everything he needed. But at the same time, it's not like he is a sophomore because he didn't get to practice a whole lot. So he's going to make mistakes. He's going to charge over guys when he should come to a jump stop and find an open man. He's going to shoot when he should pass. He's going to pass when he can shoot, when he should shoot sometimes. Uh, but I wouldn't trade his talent level for anything, his length, uh, his ability to, to um, defend with that length, his athleticism, his ability to get to the rim on offense. You know, all those things are, are such positives for our team. And, you know, like any young guy, he, he's learning. And the good thing is Edmund's very, very coachable. And so I think the mistakes he makes in maybe October and November and December um, won't be as many when we get to January, February, and March. Did McKinley put on weight in the offseason? Is he where he needs to be the um, You know, he can always put on more weight. You know, the, the, the tough part with McKinley is he's a little bit like Justin Dolman, at least we've found so far in the first year uh, or so with him. I think he can uh, work even harder in the weight room. But he's got to put a lot of food in his body. And it's probably something that growing up he wasn't used to because, you know, he burns it so quickly. And just like Dolman lifted his tail off for four years, I think he gained four or five pounds during his time at Xavier. Now, he gained a lot of strength. And McKinde has gained a lot of strength, but it's still not where it needs to be um, for him to be extremely effective at this level. But he's getting there. Thanks.